What about the new meds? We have the happiest septic tank on the walk. Next to Normal is, um, above all, uh, just an incredibly unique and powerful piece of theater. Next to Normal is the story of a, a housewife in, living in Seattle. Her name is Diana Goodman. And she, uh, she has bipolar disorder. Don't you leave me? It's about her and her family's struggle to deal with that disorder and to, to come to some sort of uh, next to normal life for her. It's a rock opera. It's all sung. There's great, great scenes, uh, but it's great songs like, you know, 39 awesome songs. And, uh, and it's fantastic. It's a fantastic, uh, fantastic new musical. I like to call it the anti-musical. That's my nickname for it. Or um, an Arthur Miller play that's sung. It hasn't sacrificed any emotional, psychological um, depth in any sense because of the addition of music, which sometimes musicals have to. That's often why they dwell in lighter territory traditionally. But that is obviously being challenged by this piece. It's out of the box, as our wonderful musical director. Don Horsburgh calls it. I, that's his quote, and it's a very good one. It's out of the box. What do you think? The music dictates. So the songs dictate, the instrumentation dictates, it dictates how you storytell. And I think it's just within that, uh, trying to maintain sort of clear, the clear sort of normal storytelling with music. But it, music is king and queen all in the same, you know. Most musicals like La Mis or say, you know, Phantom or these grand sort of themes. And I think, you know, uh, uh, what they've done beautifully here is just talked about, you know, uh, uh, mental illness and being different in this beautiful way. Not that other musicals don't do that, but it's, it's a really modern musical. And so you feel like you're, you're not watching a modern opera, but you're watching uh, a modern rock musical about. Uh, what's on the inside, I guess. Next to Normal has been um, produced now uh, around the world in many different languages and speaks to societies all over the world. And I think that's always a test of the strength of a piece. Two songs that one segues into the other. Um, you Don't Know, which I start off singing. segues into um, I Am The One, which then Robert, as the son, joins. It's a fantastic kind of power rock song, and it takes um, singers that are, are, have that, those voices and can sing that range with that power, but also that can listen to each other at the same time because the melody lines go in and out of each other and they're kind of on one rhythmic line and I'm kind of on another and uh, dramatically obviously there's a, a kind of a big fight going on. Uh, I won't reveal too much why that is there but uh, you know there's a struggle there so there's quite a lot to balance um, and uh, yeah they, they do it beautifully I think too. It's a really, really hard show to cast because you, the, the songs in this in this show are very hard to sing, and you have to kind of live in the. They have to kind of live within you and live vocally where you where you sing. Rayshawn was in Beauty and the Beast and Sweeney Todd in Edmonton and here in in Calgary and uh, uh, Robert Robert I had known from the University of Alberta and, and uh, from his work with Catalyst Theatre. Catherine, I didn't know at all. We we found Catherine in Toronto. We when we were on our audition tour, and uh, and we were blown away by her audition and her voice. And Don and I were like, you know, we think we have our, our Diana. And it, you know that the show Lynch, you know, the linchpin is is uh, is her. I did a play in 1985 uh, called There Is No Shame about mental illness uh, and. And doing this one now, and the attitudes that have, you know, the attitudes have changed, and there, you know, like there's a ton of work to be done, and uh, a ton of work to be done, uh, kind of scientifically, and 
and uh, and socially. And I think, uh, but I think people are more aware and more forgiving of what people completely didn't understand before. So, I think that's changed me. And I think, I think uh, for for me, it's just about the beauty of this musical and the beauty of the the characters and the people within it. And that my compassion is, you know, I think that's what theater does. Is that it? that it uh, raises your compassion. Roughly 3% of the population has bipolar disorder. Uh, that's almost a million Canadians, if you add it up. And, uh, and that's just what's on the grid, you know. So it's, it's very relevant, but above all, it is just an incredibly interesting, funny, sexy, hot, musical, um, passionate piece of theatre.